This is the presentation for our project of EEE 475, Medical Image Reconstruction and Processing. The project is about deep learning for image reconstruction. In the field of MRI scanning technology, high fidelity image reconstruction are possible, however, more time consuming. As new technology emerge, the time it is required to obtain a close to perfect MRI scan image is reducing significantly by undersampling the case space. Involving deep learning in the field of study can raise the performance of reconstructions for undersampled Cartesian case space acquisition. Our motivation is to implement the CNN architecture in order to reconstruct random Poisson disk undersampled data and partial case space data, and compare these results with the reconstruction performances of state of the art methods, compressed sensing for Poisson disk undersampling, and projection onto convex sets for partial case space reconstruction. We have used fast MRI dataset from Facebook AI research. Only single coil of training was extracted since they have fully sampled case space and we manually implemented the masks. From 973 volumes, uh, 250 of them were taken, which is uh, 8,929 slices in total. 7,000 of them used for training and validation. Rest uh, was used for testing. The dataset contains all coronal, axial, and sagittal slices. Lastly, T2 and PD weighted acquisitions with or without fat suppression are present in the dataset. Some pre processing steps were implemented, which also down samples the uh, 320 square images to 128. This is an example slice from the dataset PD weighted fat saturated image and its case space. Four methods. After several trial research, we focused on image domain learning process. The reconstruction diagram is presented, where CNN and data consistency steps apply three times iteratively. The CNN structure is also presented. Total of eight convolutional layers are present. Mean squared error loss was, was recorded and ADM optimization was applied for training. In each layer, the input is zero padded to keep same same image size. For layers one to seven, a uh, linear unit was used, uh, followed by batch normalization. Last layer uh, was using uh, linear activation. The network first trained with images obtained from Poisson disk sample case spaces with acceleration factor of four. For a total of 20 epochs, uh, 0.2 portion of total 7,000 training dataset was used for validation. This is an example subsampling result, and uh, this is the observed loss function during training and validation. Likewise, the fully acquired case space was masked with one of these masks randomly to obtain second training dataset. Here you can see the example result of partial case space acquisition and recorded MSC model loss can be seen from here. The first method to compare is POX. POX is an iterative reconstruction method and can give better results compared to PCCS and homodyne reconstruction as the partial case space fraction decreases. The aim of POX is to constrain case space data and image space. You can see the method, the algorithm of POX here. The advantages of POX is that it converges very fast and gives better results compared to PCS homodyne reconstruction with less partial case space acquisition. However, the disadvantage is also that it gives similar results with homodyne reconstruction when the acquired case space data is higher. The other algorithm that we did was compressed sensing. Compressed sensing mainly relies on sparsity and can be used to reconstruct random under, undersampled data. The image to be reconstructed is transformed into a sparse domain. Signals below a threshold in the sparse domain are then eliminated with a soft thresholding. Then the inverse transform is taken to obtain a smoother image than the original. 
The data consistency is obtained by replacing the reconstructed case space data with the acquired data at sampled case space locations. This algorithm gets better with each iteration until convergence. For the sparse domain, we use the wavelet domain since it is used for most of natural images and also it gives a good result in our case. The following is an example uh, for a three uh, the wavelet domain regularization with three levels. We use the Poisson disk masking with accelerations two and four uh, with the under, to undersample the original data and use compressed sensing. Poisson disk masking works well with compressed sensing since it acquires the central most important part of the case space better. For the results, both network and compressed sensing algorithm fed with Poisson disk undersampled case space image with acceleration rate of four. Here you can see the undersampled image, its ground truth, the reconstruction made by the network and the following uh, error image. Uh, whereas the compressed sensing reconstructs the following image and the uh, following error pattern. By looking at the SM and PSNR values, we can see that network outperforms compressed sensing algorithm for the given image. Later on, for partially acquired case space with proportion of uh, 33 slash 64 network provided the following results. Here again, you can see the uh, undersampled image, its ground truth, and the uh, reconstruction made by the network and its following error image. Uh, Pox also provides the uh, this results with the following error image. Observing their SM and PSNR values, although Pox gave slightly higher quality the network was able to provide high fidelity images as it can be seen from its estimate value of 0 0.990. Uh, here you can see the performance of network on all test, test data that is masked with Poisson disk. Overall estimate mean was 0 0.75 with standard deviation of 0 0.12 and PSNR mean was 25.3 uh, with standard deviation of 2.6. And these are quality results for network trained and tested with partial case space. In here, we conclude the mean for SM was 0 0.95 with standard deviation of 0 0.029, uh, uh, which is relatively lower for the previous result of standard deviation, and PSNR mean of 32.42 with standard deviation of 2.45. Even though we only use 7,000 examples in order to train our architecture, we got very similar, even slightly better reconstructions when compared to POX and compressed sensing. This shows that there should be motivation for future work with different, more complex architectures. Improving networks with more complex architectures and larger training data can potentially accelerate data acquisition further and outperform the reconstruction schemes that are in use today. These are the references. Thank you for watching. Thank you.